New York City has played host to some of the greatest sporting rivalries in the world, from Giants Cowboys. We hate the Cowboys. They don't like us, we don't like them. To the Subway Series. People are yelling at each other in the stands. People are throwing food, beers at each other. And of course, Yankees Red Sox. I love the Red Sox. Oh, it's a rivalry. Don't it's you like, love uh, hatred? But this summer, a sporting divide on a whole nother level is coming to the Big Apple. That'll make anything you've seen at Giants or Yankee Stadium pale in comparison. That's because on July 26, the Madrid derby between Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid is coming to MetLife Stadium for the first time ever. And trust me, you're not gonna wanna miss this one. On July 26, this incredible stadium is going to play host to a rivalry that stands alone in world soccer. Thanks to over a century of unbelievable moments brought upon by two clubs who are completely divided both on and off the pitch. But to get to the heart of this rivalry and find out why it coming to New York City is such a big deal, well, there's only one place to go, and that's the home of it all, Madrid, Spain. Now, when it comes to soccer rivalries in Spain, your first thought is probably El Clasico between Real Madrid and Barcelona. However, when you speak to most experts in the game here, you quickly come to realize that it's actually the Madrid derby between Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid that most purists consider the ultimate Clasico in Spain. One of Real Madrid's directors put this in great, great terms. Barcelona was 600 kilometers away. We didn't even smell them. The problem was Atletico, right here in the city. Real Madrid, I think, was founded in 1902. We were founded in 1903. It is a rivalry that has been on for well over 100 years. And whilst El Clasico may have taken over the headlines these days, the rivalry between Real and Atletico hasn't died down at all. But if you look into the last decade of soccer alone, it really shouldn't be of any surprise, as these two teams have recently met in the biggest games in not just Spain, but all the Champions League. The fact that you get two teams in a European Cup final, two out of three seasons, from the same city, that's never happened before. In fact, these days, you could say the Madrid derby means more than ever. Sempre esses dias de, de derby são, são dias especiales. Se perdes um partido, perdes toda a temporada. Being a fan of, of, of Real Madrid is the easy way. So you don't feel threatened at all by Atleti? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Copa 90 and I experienced this firsthand in 2017 when we made Madrid Derby Days, which ended up becoming one of the craziest episodes of the entire series. We witnessed unbelievable scenes and emotions where it quickly became evident that when these two teams meet, it's not for the faint-hearted on or off the pitch. But when speaking of fans and journalists in Madrid, it quickly became obvious why this was the case, as these two clubs, despite sharing the same city, share nothing else in common. And this rivalry truly is the story of two sides of Madrid whose history, heritage and culture are at complete odds. On one side sit Real Madrid, a powerhouse club of not just Spain, Europe, but the entire world, whose massive fan base expect nothing but consistent glory, triumph and dominance, whoever they face. Madrid has won uh, 13 Champions Leagues. It's not even an argument. That is the biggest uh, team in the whole history of soccer. And they expect that glory to be achieved with the biggest and best names in the game. Alfredo Stefano, Raul, Iker Casillas, Zidane. Cristiano Ronaldo, Sergio Ramos, Ronaldo, Beckham, Roberto Carlos, Luka Modric. Hence their nickname Galacticos, a term brought upon by their galaxy of stars that they had in the mid-2000s and continue to possess today. And then there's Atletico Madrid, who despite being one of the biggest clubs in world soccer today, have a fan base who take their pride, joy, and in fact identity from their strength and never ending support in the face of decades of adversity. Thanks to a, what they consider cursed existence that has seen some of the most unlucky and unfortunate moments in the game. Hence their nickname, El Pupas, or the cursed ones. Yeah. 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 Effectively, they have been a grand total of maybe a minute and a half away from three European Cups. They have none. But in the past decade, Atleti have turned their bad luck around and today compete for the same trophies as Real Madrid with arguably as good of a squad as Real Madrid in a brand spanking new 70,000 seat stadium that has seen the rivalry be taken to another level. 
Despite their contrast in identities, both fan bases felt they embodied what it meant to be from the city. You talk to Atletico fans and they hate Real Madrid. You know, they really do feel like Real Madrid sum up everything that's wrong with the world. What uh, Real Madrid represents in Spain, the, the establishment, the, the economic power. For people that ask me what Real Madrid is about, it is that feeling that you get when you walk into the stadium at first and you see the crowd. Real Madrid, obviously, is first and foremost uh, for Madrid. But the truth is, last season was actually forgettable for both sides of the city. But for clubs as big as these two, that situation was never going to be accepted and they've responded in the off-season with hugely ambitious moves. From the dugouts where Atletico Madrid have tied down their highly in demand coach to a brand new contract. Diego Simeone. A man who is relentless in his pursuit of success. To the pitch where some of the biggest names in world soccer have made Madrid their home. Which means these two sides, first ever meeting in New York, gets even more exciting as July 26 won't just see a brand new location for this derby, but an introduction to their famous Madrid rivalry hostilities for both club superstars. For more on that, in the next episode.